Hi guys, welcome to Couch Culture. I'm Kyle and today I'm joined by Pablo who's an expert on Twilight. Is oh, that right, yeah? Pablo? No, I haven't even seen it. You haven't even seen it or you haven't even seen them. Oh, damn. Because you know there are, I think, three movies. Oh, three movies. Three movies and a collection of books and the whole thing. And I have to admit, I haven't seen any of the movies, but you haven't seen them either? No, I haven't seen it, but I know some facts, interesting facts about the movies. Some interesting facts. All right, Pablo, tell me some of these facts. You know the guy that's play, that plays a werewolf? Okay. That he takes all the time his shirt off because... Well, just be careful here. We can't say he, he, he all the time takes his shirt off. We'd say he, he's always taking his shirt okay. off. He seems to be always yeah. taking his shirt off. It's because right. werewolves... Uh, seem to be warmer than regular people and they need to they get they get warmer they get hot I don't know if they get I think they are warm all the time okay. because this uh, flurry skin or I don't know furry like this yeah I think because it's... they have fur but does he have fur he doesn't have fur no I, but maybe he saved you know all people save these times all, all people what He's shaving this time. <laughs> he shaved. So he shaves off his fur, but he still gets hot. I think so. But he's a martial artist. You know, he plays uh, martial art from when he was really young. So he's a, he's well, he's been practicing or doing, we could say, doing martial arts, karate, for example, doing karate since he was young. We wouldn't say four, but we'd say since he was young. Yeah, it was like acrobatical martial arts, some kind of extreme martial arts thing. Okay, yeah. so you're saying he does these martial arts and he gets hot. Yeah. Like Bruce Lee, I'm sure Bruce Lee got hot all the time, the way yeah. he was jumping around. So, and Bruce Lee took his shirt off a lot as well. Yeah, maybe have some... Maybe there's a, something parallel here. Some kind of relation. <laughs> right. Yeah, and you know, the other people that the, the vampires, no. Now be careful, vampires. Vamp vampires. Vampires. Try that at home, the V sound. Vampire. It's like an F. Take the F and you add the vocal cord. V vampires. Vampires. Say it again. Vampires. Nice. Okay, so what about the vampires? When they are uh, outside during the day, mm -hmm. they glow. They sparkle. Yeah. During the day? Yeah, during the day. When they glow and sparkle. Yeah, when the sun comes, out uh, to them, they glow. When the sun hits them. When the sun hits them, yeah. Okay, they glow. Yeah, so it's an interesting movie. So they have some new things about bomb, fam sorry, vampire. Vampires, all right. There are a lot of vampire movies out there, but it sounds like this one is a bit different and interesting. A lot of people like it, so there must be something nice about it. Maybe we should check it out. Yeah, maybe we should. Or check them all out, I should say, because there are three, right? Yeah, sure. All right, good. Well, I think we should go watch those movies, Pablo. Yeah, next time I will be a, an expert. All right, great. Okay, guys, thanks for watching Couch Culture. We'll see you next time. Bye.